Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil, and today I want to talk about how you, you can utilize the Limitless website to find deck ideas to play or to refine decks that you're currently playing. I'll provide the link for this website in the description below. The link that I have set, set up takes me to this page on LimitlessTCG.com tournaments. Uh, so this, this is IRL events. There, there's a separate area where the online is. I'll, I'll get to that shortly because that is for me the more important part but but the on that the IRL I like to keep check on that too so we see all the major tournaments starting with the most recent we want to see I see so the EUIC in London is still the most recent so I'll open up a tab on that just to show you what it does uh, you see how people finished uh, there are ads here on the website but again uh, it costs money to run a server so I don't begrudge that at all um, they're not intrusive uh, so we see all the top players. I think for here we scroll down. We have the top 158 players in their decks. So we see the how they finish, the name, country, where they're from, the deck, which is by images. If you're not sure what the image means, you can hover over it. This is Arceus, Duraludon, Gardevoir, and such. And then you can access their list. I played a number of these lists, and this is where I got it from in some of my videos towards Gardevoir deck, Pablo Meza's. Mugenesec deck, uh, Pedro Torres's uh, Lost Zone box with the Ma Wild Stall aspect, and a fun one for me, uh, Robert uh, Kinbrum's Maridon Regielecki. Again, you hover over it, see what the what the deck t name is if you're uncertain, um, and then you can click on the list if, as long as that's provided and open up and see what the actual 60 cards are. And this is a quite useful feature. Uh, we see. A summary we see all the 60 cards in the deck how many the name the set that it's from and it also give you a price and a link if you want to buy it I'm not worried about that because I'm only playing them online but Reggie Alecki VMAX three of those I can now read on the side it's transistor ability it's attack max thunder lightning for 220 see all that there's another and then there's two other features on this page that you want to know about one you, there's copy to clipboard so that copies it to the clipboard. So then you, if you open up Pokemon TCG Live, you can, under the deck builder, just co uh, copy this in, pa or paste it in there, and you have that deck list good to go. You may have to adjust the arts, right, because the it doesn't do a great job with the arts. It, 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 it assumes you want to play the exact arts that from the list you copied from, which you may not own. So you'll have to do that adjustment yourself, but you're probably familiar with that process and then it has this t button down here open as image which is very useful as long as you're familiar with the majority of cards that are being used you see it as an image which I think is a quicker way to kind of get a sense of the deck you see the cards and has the number the count of each card played the deck so it gets a good sense of what's in a deck so this is for online events you can also click on I'm going to open it the decks. So th this is a list of all the decks that are or the decks that have been played in tournaments. How many points they've gotten? It's in the share. It's the share of points. It's not the share of actual players. So you can see what the decks have been getting the most points. If you want to do that, if you were to click on okay, this is getting the most points. Lugia Archaeops. I must therefore you want to then explore that deck. You click on it, and then it gives you the latest results. Um, four things you can see the complete tournament history to get a sense of is it recent e events or older events and it shows you how every person's placed at it so a lot of data there and the IRL aspect is very useful I what I really like though is the online events because there's more variety in deck in events in a deck I mean in decks played and just click on the online tab now we're in play.limitlesstcd.com which is just on online events so you can sign up for new events too under most relevant or upcoming you can edit the tournament filter if you want but then looking for deck ideas you click the two two ways to get that one the completed tab these are tournaments completed there's a, a tournament filter which you can kind of sort through I just want Pokemon TCG I want standard format and I want it on live because that's what I'm playing just online and uh, the last seven days. So apply there, and this is what we get. 
and you can look through the events. And obviously, like you're probably familiar with the late night series, they're large, very large events. So I, I say, okay, I want to check out how things went in the most recent late night event with 343 people. Again, just like the IRL events, we can now see how people did, what decks, that, what country they're from, what the deck is. So we see a Lost Zone deck that won. We see Arceus Flying Pikachu came in second. We can go through the list. We can, the, you can see, so a couple things. So if, let's say, oh, I, I like Gardevoir. I wonder how, why, how that one did well. It seems like a difficult matchup. We can click on the list. Again, we get we have the same option. Well, similar options. We can you can't buy. They don't sh give you the link to buy it because IRL because it is an online deck. But you can cl open as an image, which in this case takes you to a new tab, and you can copy to the clipboard. Um, within it, we can also see the matches, so you can see what decks. If if you want to see what decks they were successful or difficult against, if you're wondering about a particular matchup with it, you can see where they might have struggled. So information there about decks within events. But then the part of Limitless that I find the most fun is online, which is where I am already. And you click on the decks tab. And now this is where you get the most variety for deck ideas. What I want to do is I scroll down to the bottom. I want to show all decks because it, 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 by default it shows things. It shows the top 50 decks in terms of how many are played. So this is the count. I think the share is, uh, I'm not sure if it's the share of plays or the share of points. I'm a little confused about that. And then you see the winning percentage, like Lost Zone is played the most, but it, its winning percentage is below 50%. The same thing with Gardevoir, Gardevoir. So you might think that's okay. I'm one of the better players. I can do well. Or you might say, no, I think I'd rather have a deck that's played a lot and does well. Then look, Lugia Archaeops has also played a fair amount and its win percentage is above 50%, right? You can also see a deck, one of my favorites, Maridon Reggie Lucky. Other people like it, right? It's played the fourth most, but a 44% win rate. So, yeah, if you really want to be serious about getting a lot of wins, Maridon Reggie Lucky might not be the best deck to play. Um, you can search the way you do it on a normal web page by, by the name for the deck type. Sometimes their, their naming is a bit odd or in newer de decks without a lot of plays might not be listed. So it might be under other, which has a big variety of decks. And you just kind of have to sort through that kind of a deck by deck basis. But what I like to do when I'm really looking for ideas, which I just did recently, come to these online decks and I click win percentage because, hey, decks that win are fun to play. So now I see the highest win percentage, but it also shows me the count, right? The number of players that have played them in events. So Urshifu Blaziken has done, has the highest win percentage, but only played by three people. I'm going to right-click, open up a tab on that just to get a sense. So it's been played three times. One person went 500. Two people went one game above 500. So you can win or do okay with it, but that's not a lot of plays. I'm not real confident that it's a strong deck. But so looking back to the list again, I get down to looking for a good option. Arceus Giratina, right, 355 plays, a meaningful number, over 52% win rate. That's quite nice. So I like that. It's the 10th most played deck, uh, but wins better than all, higher win rate than, than decks played one through nine. So I'm going to, so I went there. That's the deck that I've chosen out to play next, and I'll, you'll be seeing that in the upcoming video. And then what I do here is I find the deck list. I go, okay, I want to figure out what 60 I want, because I I'll, I'll usually will, might want to start then if it's a deck I'm not familiar with, with taking somebody's exact 60 as a starting point. But I do want to think through what, what makes sense to me. So I, I, in this case, I grab some of the top performing decks, open up a new tabs, and I can flip through them. Again, I will, I'm going to open these as an image, which is a new tab here, which is a little odd. So 4-3 Arceus, 2-2 two, two Barrel, 2-2 two, two Giratina V-Star. Uh, on Squovit, I do like the Squovit the Barrel Engine, so that's appealing to me. Can see through the trainers, can see through the energy count. So come through here, copy clip. Oh no, don't copy clipboard. Open his image. Okay, same Pokemon. Art four three Arceus two two the Barrel two two Giratina Squovit again. 
I do notice here at the end, just quickly looking, the energies are different. 4, 4, 4, and 1 V-Guard. I believe the other was 4, 4, 4, and 2 V-Guard. So there's a slight difference there. Uh, and I, I actually dug through these decks, and this one dropped the V-Guard and added an energy recycler. That was the difference there. Uh, these other decks, again, it's easier to see to see what they are as an image, I think. So the Barrel Engine, no Squovit, plays a Drapion for the Mew matchup and a Radiant Gardevoir. If you're like, oh, wait, what's that Pokemon do, Radiant Gardevoir? I don't remember. You can click on it, and it will open it up, that card. Now, it's not a new tab, so if you close it, you lose the image. But now it's bigger. You can read through what it does. Okay. I don't like that deck as, as much, so I'm just going to close that out. That's not a consideration. All right, what's this one going to do? This one is simplified. 4, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, but barrel. No Squovit. You know what? I like Squovit, so I'm going to drop this deck list as a consideration, to, as a starting point. Look at the last deck that and the ones I pulled up. Again, no Squovit. I like Squovit. Sorry. You're not choosing you either. I like this deck list here with the only one V guard, the one recycler. That's the one I've chosen. I'll be like I'll be playing that in the near future. So then I copy the clipboard, put it into limitless. It's a really good way to look through deck ideas. Uh, sometimes that honestly it goes from like at most sixth place to three fifty five to three hundred fifty five. Usually there's some decks like twenty, thirty, forty, fifty plays up at the higher end. And those and that's where I really like, like I think are really strong ideas to play. Uh, if you're looking for something a little less played that has success, I go down up 45 plays for Arceus Reggie Drago. That's at 51%. Uh, there I also see here Reggie Drago box at 18 plays, 50 50.5%. So there's some Reggie Drago options with as if I'm looking for something a little less played that seems to to give a decent level of success. So look play dot limitless dot tcg dot com a very good website I suggest you take a look at it um, and also when you, when I when I've gone through like with this Arceus um, Giratina deck that that I want to play here the fact that I look through a number of deck variants gives me the idea as I play the deck I can think oh wait I think maybe having the Squovit isn't good in the deck let me go drop the Squovit take a look at some of the lists without Squovit see what they did. I say, okay, I picked the one with one V-Guard energy. I've, I really am getting that extra 20 tankiness would help me out in a lot of a lot of games. I think I need to add the second V-Guard in. So let me. it gives you ideas about how you might want to change the deck. So a very useful website. Suggest you take a look at it and get, get used to it. Take care.